Hi guys, what's up, how's it going? Today, let's talk about the four different poker playing styles and how to beat them. Let's get started. To sort of categorize the different playing styles, we use this chart. Tight versus loose and aggressive versus passive. Tight players only choose to play very few of the hands they are dealt. They are in no hurry and don't mind waiting for a premium hand. Loose players, on the other hand, will play a wide range of starting hands. Aggressive players have a higher risk tolerance. They prefer racing instead of calling and are not afraid to get involved in a big pot. Passive players stay away from confrontations and prefer checking and calling. This creates four categories of players and those are what we refer to when we talk about poker playing styles. Let's have a look at each playing style and how to beat them. First up is the loose passive. Now because they are loose, they play a lot of the hands they are dealt and see a lot of flops. But the passive side of them means they just check and call. They don't bid or raise. That's why this playing style is often referred to as the calling station. This is pretty much what we call limping, a death sin in poker and a sure mark of a new beginner. Aggression is usually the way to success in poker. It's important to maximize your profit when a good hand comes along and to not waste your chips on a bad hand. Loose passive players will often just sit there, calling every hand until they slowly run out of chips. Yeah, not a great playing style if you want to win. The best strategy against a calling station is to just play your strong hands. And don't bother bluffing, they'll call everything. Next up, we have the tight passive. This player has a more conservative approach to the game. They are tight, so they rarely take part of any hands. And the few times they do, it's usually by calling. This playing style is often referred to as the rock, since they just sit there and don't do much. They have a fear of losing their chips and won't really take risks. This means they often end up just bleeding out from the blinds while waiting for a premium hand. When facing a tight passive player, you have a great chance of stealing the blinds by racing pre-flop. They fold their blinds way too often. Now let's look at the tight aggressive playing style. This is considered one of the most effective and winning playing styles. It's also the style that most professional poker players lean towards. It's still a tight playing style meaning they only play a small range of their starting hands. They are patient and watch carefully for the right time to pounce. But when they do engage in a hand, you can expect them to raise or re-raise, not only before the flop, but also post-flop. The tight aggressive playing style is often shortened to just tag, T-A-G, and they're also called sharks since they attack with force after smelling blood. But there are ways to blow a shark out of the water. Their aggressive approach to a good hand makes them easy to read. So, if you spot a tag trying to just limp their way into a flop, hit them with a race. They could of course be setting a trap, but more often than not, this approach will give you profit. Lastly, we have the loose aggressive players, the maniacs, the entertainers. Before that though, real quick, let me just say that this video is brought to you by us, the Easy Poker app. The easiest way to play poker with friends. It's a digital version of your physical poker set, perfect for poker on the go. It's completely free and you'll find the link down below. Alright, so the loose aggressive playing style, also shortened to lag, LAG. These players are what makes poker exciting and worth watching. They have that loose approach, meaning they will play a wide range of starting hands. And they play them aggressively, meaning lots of bluffs and lots of races. This of course makes them extremely hard to read and tough to call, but it's also a huge risk for them to play. You either win big or lose big. When facing a loose aggressive player, taking a tight passive approach is a great way to lure them into a trap and have them build a massive pot for you to take from them. All right, so the million dollar question is of course, what's the best playing style? First, let me just say that nobody fits 100% into a specific category. It's fluent and a tight player may turn loose when bored. A lot of new players fall into the loose passive category before understanding the strategy of the game. But there's no doubt that the aggressive approach is best as long as the aggression is selective. Most professional poker players practice the tight aggressive playing style 
and this is probably the most efficient of the four. Although a lot of the fan favorites who become poker icons excite us from a loose aggressive standpoint. The ideal playing style seems to be switching back and forth between different playing styles. You should definitely stick to an aggressive playing style, but you may fake a passive style to set a trap. 